Good morning, everyone. It is really a pleasure for me to have had this opportunity to welcome the Secretary General of NATO in the presidency. Today, we inform the Secretary General about the political situation in Bosnia-Herzegovina and also about the progress achieved in the defense sector. Within the presidency, there is a full consensus on the fact that the interest of Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, set long ago, is to activate the membership action plan as soon as possible. There is a political consensus on that, and it practically exists at the level of the political parties because they all clearly stated to be uh, on that side. And in the presidency, uh, at the end of the last year, as you know, the defense review uh, was finally adopted after many years in which that consensus had not been possible. But this presidency actually reached that consensus and adopted the, the defense review, which is going to serve as a basis for further development of the armed forces in the following next uh, ne several years. Yesterday, we adopted the implementation plan for that program, as well as the action plan for the development and modernization plan of the armed forces for the period 2017-2027. Uh, these are very significant political achievements, which testify to our commitment to making the armed forces a modern and well-equipped force, which is really our need, our requirement, regardless of our future membership in NATO. This is our interest, and we shouldn't be doing this uh, for the sake of NATO, but uh, for ourselves. The registration of defense property continues, but it's uh, going slower than expected, partly due to political issues, because there's some disagreement about the concept of property. But but partly also because of some large uh, problems with regard to title deeds that go back to the socialist times. Today, I clearly stated the commitment of the presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina to participate actively, strongly in the regional cooperation to um, uh, stabilize political situation in the region. And I also said that we're committed to further cooperation with NATO and joint participation in the peacekeeping mission in Afghanistan. I've been there, and I could see uh, with my own eyes the esteem uh, enjoyed by our troops there and how important it is for Bosnia and Herzegovina to participate in such operations. So we are co committed to further participation. And we now uh, uh, look forward to an exercise that will happen in Tuzla in September 2017 in cooperation with NATO that will deal mostly with response to natural disasters. So we continue also with the global fight against ISIS. Bosnia and Herzegovina Govina, as you know, has donated 600 tons of ammunition to the government of Iraq, and also the presidency approved a similar donation for the armed forces of Iraq, and uh, that decision will be finalized in due time, and it is our interested interest to continue the partnership with NATO. President Ivanic, uh, thank you so much for uh, welcoming me and my delegation here today. And it's uh, great to be back in uh, Sarajevo and to see this uh, beautiful city and to see the snow that you have uh, in the city and in the uh, mountains. For almost uh, two decades, NATO has helped guarantee the stability of uh, this uh, region. And we really highly value our partnership with Bosnia and Herzegovina. That is important for Bosnia and it's important for uh, NATO. Because our partnership is a two-way street, we help you to implement reforms and you help us uh, in <coughs> creating stability in uh, the Balkans and you contribute to our shared security in many different ways. I would like to thank you for uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina's uh, contributions to different NATO activities and uh, operations and missions, especially in uh, Afghanistan. I have met uh, Boston soldiers who have served in Afghanistan, 
and you have been there for many years and we are grateful for your contribution to fighting international terrorism uh, through your presence in Afghanistan. We also appreciate your donation of ammunition to Iraq, helping to fight uh, ISIL. So these are just two examples of how you contribute uh, to uh, our shared uh, security. Your forces are making a difference and your contributions show that you are prepared to share responsibility for Euro-Atlantic uh, security. Bosnia uh, and Herzegovina uh, are a candidate for membership in NATO. And you have the necessary tools to move towards the alliance. Today, we discussed the reform process in Bosnia and Herzegovina and the way ahead. NATO stands ready uh, to activate your membership uh, action plan once all immovable <coughs> defense properties have been registered to the state. We welcome the reforms that you are making in the defense and security sector. The defense review agreed last year was an important step forward, as is the implementation plan you agreed uh, yesterday. And I welcome both the defense uh, review, but also the fact that you, are now, uh, that you now have agreed on uh, the implementation plan, how to implement uh, all the measures in the defense uh, review. And I really welcome this progress and your strong uh, commitment. But I call on you to do even more and to undertake even more courageous reforms. Now is the time for all leaders of Bosnia and Herzegovina to make difficult compromises and to work together for the benefit of all communities and all citizens in this country. Your efforts will be worth it. They will pave the way for your full membership in our Euro-Atlantic family. With hard work and continued effort, Bosnia and Herzegovina will move even closer to NATO and to the European Union. So President Ivanovic, uh, thank you once again. It's great to be uh, here and to meet with you and the whole presidency. Thank you. Thank you.